La Boite Theatre is doing the most amazing show for the 2015 Brisbane Festival, Prizefighter, a story that promises to take us in a high octane journey from Africa to Australia. Let's go meet the people now that are creating this thumping, bumping, sweating story show, Prizefighter. Let's go. <laughs> And what was that fantastic thing you did with your hair? Can you show us? It was just a hair flake, but you know. Come on, baby, give it to me. Uh, Hotness. Are you guys competitive? Me and Gideon? Yeah. Oh, yeah, very much yeah, so. Yeah, right. Yeah. I can imagine. But we. Who's uh, winning right now? Oh, I'd have to say him. <laughs> <laughs> um, or I'll get beaten up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you get your shirt off? In the play, um, I'll, we haven't talked about that yet, but I'm going to have a word with Todd and yeah. hopefully. We can I'll have a word too, don't worry. Who is the prize fighter? W one who has determination, yes. ambitions, yes. and will never give up no matter what. Uh -huh. That is the prize Is fighter. that you? Well, <laughs> <laughs> a prize fighter in the theatre world. I don't, I, don't, I don't think that's me. Uh, you can say that, but I know there's many people who are prize fighters. Issa's journey, so when he was young, uh, he, uh, without giving away too much, yes. he, he's an ex-child soldier. And he goes through a lot of adversity as a young kid. He does lose his uh, family in it. Mm. Um, but as he gets older, he starts to deal with it and he becomes, he starts to get a grasp of his life. But he also has to make peace with some of the things that he did and yeah. some of the things that happened to him. And that's what you see. That's the battle that he has within the ring. How do you stay so positive? Do you find after you, what you went through before, before you arrived in Australia has set you up for life to never be afraid by, of anything again? <laughs> Well, I guess uh, the only reason why people get down is because they look in the past too much. They don't see what the potential they have. Or they don't want to take time to look at what's coming and what lies ahead of them. Yeah. And once you start accepting that that has already happened, you cannot change it. But the only thing you can change is the future. We've got a long history of African-American stories. Like this is sort of a, uh, an Australian-African story. Is that like a, a new, I guess, narrative? It definitely is. It is. Yeah. So like you said, it's um, we, we, we're more familiar with the African-Americans, but um, well, we're, now it's becoming, yeah, the Australian-African. Yeah. So yeah, we'll start pushing that forward and see where that takes us. What's so powerful about boxing to tell a story? That's interesting. It's, it is that sort of gladiator gladiatorial sort of feel to it where people do want to come and watch blood sports still. Mm. And there is something about, it's a great metaphor for the underdog and for someone rising to the top from nothing.